for the OR gate symbol is this one this is A and this is B this is Y Y equal to A plus B okay and the truth table is A B Y 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 okay now need to draw the circuit diagram for the circuit diagram of OR gate using diode I need two diode this is D1 this is D2 okay D1 diode and D2 diode these two will be connected with a resistance okay and if I connect a voltmeter here this voltmeter will show us the output voltage okay here I can do this one with voltmeter or with a LED right so now for this one first I will show you with the voltmeter and then I will do it this one with the LED okay so for the voltmeter I have here a multimeter with this one the positive this one is the negative okay and this is the A terminal this is the B terminal right so first I need to make two switch A this one is A and this one is B no problem I already made two switch A and B now I need to connect two diode from the A terminal I should have one diode positive will be connected this side is positive and this side is negative positive will be connected with the A okay and this one also positive will be connected with the B terminal and the negative will be connected with the negative terminal this D1 diode okay that means the both the negative of D2 and D1 should be connected together in a single point okay done now with this two point this two point I should have one resistance and that will be grounded so here I use a 2.2 kilo ohm resistance and this will be directly goes to the ground terminal okay so you can see just let's check the circuit diagram again this is the A terminal A terminal connected with the diode positive and negative and B terminal connected with the diode positive and negative both negative connected in a single point and from that point I have a resistance 2.2 kilo ohm that resistance is goes to the ground terminal okay now what I need to do just connect this voltmeter with the same point now I don't have any input connected with the source voltage so the output voltage shows 0 volt so you can see in the multimeter output is 0 volt now just to cross check what I need to do? I need to check A should be 0, B should be 0. So first one, A, this one is B is 0 and A is also 0. Okay. The output is how much? Output is 0 volt. Okay. So that means the first condition is satisfied. No problem. Now go to the second one. If A is 0, that means this one is 0 and B is 1. So B will be moved to 1. Okay then output should be 1 right now you can see in the voltmeter i can get 4.381 volt why 4.381 volt why not 5 volt as when my voltage a is 0 and b is 1 that means here i give 5 volt and here i give 0 volt then this diode is not conducting in the reverse bias but this diode d2 is in forward bias when this diode d2 is in forward bias this diode will make a voltage drop of 0 0.7 volt okay that means if i give 5 volt here then there will be voltage drop of 0 0.7 volt here then i will get here 4.3 volt so here you can see around 4.3 volt in the output right now so the case 2 is also satisfied now go to the a is 1 and b is 0 so move a is 1 
that means this one a is moved to 1 okay and b is 0 that means b is 0 now you can see a is 1 and b is 0 when a is 1 b is 0 you can see the output is same 4.377 right now this one is 5 volt this one is 0 volt that means now diode d1 is in forward bias d2 is in reverse bias right when d1 is forward bias this will make the voltage drop of 0 0.7 volt then i have 5 volt in the input there is a voltage drop of 0 0.7 volt then i will get the output 4.3 volt you can see the voltmeter is around 4.3 volt okay now the last one is 1 1 so a and b both will be 1 1 okay now you can see here this one is 5 volt and this one is also 5 volt that means d1 and d2 both is conducting the output is how much output is 1 that means output is around you can see 4.4 volt okay why the output voltage is increased from 4.37 to 4.4 as last time only one diode is conducting now both of the diode is conducting right when the both of the diode is conducting the, then the current flow through this resistance is increased if the current flow is increased then what will happen i into r right if i is increased then what will happen v will increase so that's why i get here 4.4 volt okay so here you can see this circuit is behaves like a or gate okay so this one is the or gate using diode so now let's demonstrate the same circuit with a led so now i have a led this green one and one kilo ohm resistance so just what i need to do connect a resistance here and then a led and goes to ground okay this resistance is 1.1k so i have one kilo ohm resistance here I connect this one kilo ohm resistance from the same terminal okay and then connect this LED from the resistance and this will goes to the ground state okay so the first one is a zero zero right so you can see the A and B both is 0 0 and the output is 0 as the LED is turned off and also you can see the voltmeter reading is 0 now let's see 0 1 that means A is 0 A is 0 B is 1 you can see the output voltage is 4.3 volt and the LED is turned on now change this one to a is 1 and b is 0 and you can see the output is 1 as led is turned on and the voltage is 4.33 now the last condition is 1 1 okay so you can see here 4.366 and the led is turned on okay i think no problem okay here you can see the voltage is dropped again from 4.44 to 4.36 why as I connect a LED with this one if I just take out this LED the voltage drop will increase that means this should be increased from 4.36 to 4.44 you can see it's 4.44 why I just take out the LED last time LED is consuming some current that's why the voltage is dropped from 4.4 to 4.33 right now when I just take out this LED the voltage is jump to 4.44 if I connect this LED again the voltage is dropped again to 4.36 okay thanks for your time please do share this concept with your friends and if you like this video please press the like button it is really means a lot for me bye bye